So I got to thinking, I don't know how many of you, uh, oh, greetings, AE7QT at the homestead this time, but uh, a lot of people do uh, reviews and what have you, and they seem to be a lot more professional. I'm going to do something that's a lot more amateur. I bought one of these little magic boxes. That's an SGC uh, smart tuner or remote coupler. That's all the instructions you'll ever need. That's about all it really comes with. It's a very, very simple interface ground and uh, from my own lessons and from many many others they will say ground 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 when you think you have enough ground triple it double it triple it do more this just you can never ever 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 have enough ground unless you're doing something like a balanced antenna like a loop uh, dipoles uh, I've actually had a dipole hooked up and it was like a G5 RV and I found that a ground an extra ground made things work better so don't be afraid to add more ground coax simple um, this is your uh, power ground and any other options if you were to get the uh, smart lock all the uh, information on what pin does what there uh, so pretty simple nice short list of um, what types of uh, basic antennas but I mean you're only limited to your imagination this is the uh, 231 so it's got a much higher tuning um, uh, rating than all the other SGC's that they had uh, combined and a higher um, average rating so it can handle like 80 watts continuously versus the other ones I think are only like 60 watts but this will do from 1 megahertz through 60 and I have tested it all the way down to 1 megahertz it will tune um, 100 watts peak 3 minimum for uh, tuning and I think I've tuned it on 2 watts but uh, it's kind of touch and go and that might be based on your radio but you know you've got a wide variety of antennas you can use from 8 to 300 feet and uh, 12 volts. Uh, another very important note is make sure you have steady, steady 12 volt power or 13, you know. Um, if it wavers, uh, this little box does not seem to be very happy about that. My experience is it loses its tuning. Uh, yes, we love QRZ. So, we're just gonna kinda roll through all the bands real fast, nice and simple. Now, um, antenna is uh, shown on one of my other videos, but I have that tuner hooked up outside and a uh, crap ton of wires, probably 400, somewhere around 400 feet, maybe a little less, between three and 400 feet of uh, ground radials. Half of them are buried in the ground and the other half are actually in the air. Um, and then I have a G5 RV that uh, cut the end off twisted the twin lane together, tied them to the hot side of the tuner, which uh, I don't know if you saw that or not, but uh, the only connection on top is where your RF comes out. So it is very simple. Ground, coax, uh, power for activating all the tuning devices inside. So, G5 RV that's basically just a T-shaped wire 20, 25 feet in the air with between two and 300 feet where the ground. A lot of people have problems with uh, 160 tuning it. So uh, we're looking at is, is your relative signal, relative power, ALC, compression, SWR, the important one right there. And then just uh, how much power your radial is consuming. I've got this turned way down, AE7QT. Boom, one to one. Let's uh, slide this up. Uh, I know it, it doesn't usually need that much to uh, change SWR, but huh. it was so fast it didn't really even see it, but at about a 1.5, 1900 ish, somewhere in there. Boom, that thing tuned. It obviously loves a G5 RV on 160 with uh, so far 1.5 on one spot AE7QT and one to one on just about everything else. 
buttons go up near the top of the band. Just to... Boom. Okay, you saw it spike for just a moment. And I am running really low power. Let's see. Oh, 15 watts. Okay, so that's 160. Let's go up here to 80 meters. 87 QT. And I just got to think for a second on this one. Huh. You know, sometimes it does. Um, I have noticed that it can take, you know, uh, up to 10 seconds or so, but you can see that SWR actively bouncing around. And uh, it definitely looks for the best. Look at that. Flat. All right. Let's go up here. 87 QT. Uh, looks like we either had a memory or it just happened so fast it didn't have an opportunity to see it. Uh, oh, there we go. There's a spot where we need to tune. Anyways, um, so the lower bands, usually 160 seems to act more like 80, but I guess 80 today is, uh, it's finding some different um, capacitance and inductance and whatever that causes the antenna to, well look, it was happy with 38 right away. You know, And usually you can get about 100 KC between, oh boom, barely even hit 2 to 1 and it was flat almost instantly, 87 QT. I'll go down below the band edge a little bit. And usually, even on ready, you can see uh, if anybody's talking. So, there it is, flat. All right. Uh, and there we go. So, once you start getting towards like 40, uh, one to one, you pretty much don't need to go throughout the whole band. Um, there you go. Like almost perfect match right in the middle of the band. Quick key down on such a low power. And uh, propagation today seems to be pretty crummy anyway so I'm not too worried about interference especially once I get 30 and above or above 30 and uh, this is 30 meters and that was pretty fast one to one already and let's see what happens on 20 and you, oh wow there he is 20 meters you can pretty much guarantee that all the way up near the top you still have more to the top but you still have one to one so oops we don't need volume we need the next frequency there it is we're not going to tune up and down on any of these bands because it will just be flat all the way across yeah 12 meters don't know why have no idea don't look for a second we're gonna I'm sure you know what I did. <laughs> For some reason, 12 meters just won't activate at 2493 or anywhere in the legal part of the band. So, uh, yeah, we have to go a little bit out. 10 meters, boom, it's good. I actually didn't check to see how much power we're running. All right, 50 watts is okay. So, boom, one to one on six meters and as far as I know six is not open so I'm not causing any problems otherwise because I've got two preamps on you'd see that as needed moving so that's the SGC uh, rolling through all the bands and uh, mostly I'm going to use uh, the top portion of 80 or 75 and 40 so 160 really haven't tuned haven't done a whole lot on 6 10 12 15 a little bit on 20 but you know it, it's uh, it's a pretty bomb uh, tuner and uh, because it is a remote tuner uh, reception is is pretty awesome because um, you don't have to tune your coax and I think let's see here let's I use AM most of the time because it's such a much lower Let's go to, I think, 268. There's usually a net going on right now. That's the Ohana net, I believe. And band conditions are fair to poor, apparently. Either way. I don't think I'd hear it as well with coax. 73. 